SURF stands for Craft Emergency Relief Fund, and then there's a plus now, which is the preparedness mitigation part of our work. And to yeah. feel that there are people that, that care enough that would yeah. want you to keep going. Yeah. Because, you know. Well, that's how we came about, you know, it was really created by artists for artists. We're just the intermediary, if you will. So Is that how it started? Yeah, it was a kind of a mutual aid um, concept at an American Craft Council show back in 1985, before my time there. Yeah. Josh Simpson okay. and Carol Sedestrom Ross and, you know, every show that they'd go to, they'd see somebody would have had a major disaster and people would literally pass the hat. Wow. And it, it seemed to happen almost at every show. And so they thought, well, let's institutionalize this grassroots effort. So that's what it is. It's really, it's really an artist-to-artist -artist gesture. Artists, yes, contribute um, very generously to our work. We, um, we have donors everywhere from, you know, $5 a year to $10,000 a year in individual donations. Um, so they're very generous. We're not a membership organization because we don't ever want an artist to think that they can't get help because they're not a member. We're also supported by a number of foundations. It's so wonderful. So. It's so... I was aware of surf uh -huh. beforehand, yeah. but because I had never needed, you know, I've right. been in a situation where I was that personally aware of it, but I just mm -hmm. couldn't believe when, um, when you guys called me and said, you know, we want to send you a check. After Hurricane Katrina, we recognized that, you know, really no amount of money we were ever going to raise was going to right somebody's life when it had been reduced to a slab and that we really needed to invest in education and uh, resource providing about career protection. I, mean, I sometimes feel like I'm an insurance salesperson. I'm not, but it, it really makes such a big difference. And yeah. in the grand scheme of things, it's not, it, it, it's a significant expense, but it's not crushing in the way that right. a total loss is. Right, yeah. exactly. We now have a grant program to do anything in your studio or career to um, protect it. So a lot of artists have been buying, you know, air filtration systems and fire extinguishers and um, also writing their wills and, and planning their legacies, which is sort of the ultimate act of preparedness. What we hear back from artists time and again is just the fact that somebody cared and that their community believed in them and wanted them to get back to work quickly. And I think that has an incredibly powerful impact. <laughs>